I have been identified as a contact of someone who has tested positive for COVID-19. I am well and without symptoms, but will self-quarantine in the coming days in line with WHO protocols. At this time, it's critically important that we all comply with health guidance. This is how we will break chains of transmission, suppress the virus, and protect health systems. The current protocols in WHO are that uh, people who are determined to be contacts of a confirmed case uh, are, are uh, asked to quarantine. Uh, for the period of time required. Uh, that is the, the standard protocol, and that is what uh, Dr. Tedros is, uh, is uh, the regime he's under right now. Uh, the, the test, his testing will, will depend on, on the arrival of symptoms or otherwise, and, and he may be tested in the days to come. But our current protocols don't require that, uh, that, he, be, that he be tested. He is uh, at home in quarantine, and as you can see very well, and working away and continuing to do his job uh, in supporting the world. And uh, we're all uh, everyday people as well, and we live in homes and apartments, and we have to grocery shop, and we have to take our kids to the doctors and all of that. So everything that we have put in place, everything that we are recommending to the world, we are putting in place here as well. Um, and so, as Mike has said, um, uh, we are tracking all of the, the cases that are happening uh, with amongst staff, um, doing contact tracing forward, doing contact tracing backwards to make sure we understand how people were infected. Um, and making sure uh, that transmission is not taking place. Uh, we haven't had any transmission take place on the premises. Uh, we have no clusters on the, on the premises. Um, but it is something we're monitoring every day. Over the weekend, we saw that while many countries have brought COVID-19 under control, cases in some countries in Europe and North America continue to spike. This is another critical moment for action another critical moment for leaders to step up, and another critical moment for people to come together for a common purpose. Seize the opportunity. It's not too late. So yes, we support the idea of protest and the idea of speaking out, uh, and we understand people's frustrations. But Governments in Europe in particular at this time are facing a very, very difficult situation. You can argue how we've got into this situation, but you can't argue that the situation is serious. We need to push this virus down. We need to take the heat out of this epidemic right now in Europe. And governments have limited options right now in how to do that. Their options are limited. Their options may get easier if we get some success, but right now governments face very limited options. One of the challenges that we're seeing across North America and across Europe is that the increases in cases, the increases in hospitalization, the increases in ICU are happening at the same time. In the spring, there was some staggering of this, of this increase, um, but it's happening at, at, in many countries at the same time, where many systems are becoming overwhelmed at the same time. So that poses challenges for countries that were able to move facilities and move workforce around to help uh, manage uh, the intense, most intense areas.